Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show how I organize all my business and day-to-day -day things on Trello. So Trello is an app that you can get it for free or pay. I use the free one and I will show you how I use it after I have my account. So you will need to do an account and but that is very, very easy. So I will show you how I organize my business and my content. So I will show you how do I do my Trello and just make it easier for everyone. Um, so as I come to my Trello, you will see my workspaces. You can add more workspaces going in here if the internet allows. Well, it seems the internet is very, very slow, but you can go it in your profile. Well, it is here and then just see more of workplaces and here create workspace and you will have a new workspace to create every workspace will have uh, the maximum of 10 words that's why i have more than work one workspace just to not reach out my maximum of 10. if you pay for the app you will have the right to go more than 10 words. So as you can see, I have my prospect listing and this is just my messaging and my prospects, but I have my content for Instagram that you will see my boards now. Like I said, my internet is very, very slow. So hopefully this doesn't take you too much. But unfortunately, that's what we are working with because it's very windy outside today. We have a storm going on. So it can be a little bit more of um, a hassle to go around. As you can see, I have my August, September and October boards. And then my story is here and I can even create six more. Um, I will show you my August one just to be easier. Like I said, <laughs> very, very slow. And probably you can even hear the wind um, as a background. I will show you October. That is fine. In any case, we are finishing up. Um, so inside, you can create more than one of these um, lists. And I normally do it for all month. And then inside of each list, you can just add, like, for example, a name. I will put it by weeks, so week whatever, you know, add the list and then add the card. And I will put Monday to Friday and inside of them uh, I can do what is planned for that day. Uh, since it's very slow, I will just show you. For example, this month of October, we started on a Tuesday, so I create the cards Tuesday and then inside the card I put the idea of the reel or whatever it is that I want to do on that day. I did organize this prior and in very different ways but I decided on the way that I'm showing you now because it was what made more sense to myself. Okay, so as you can see, I just put what it went on that day. You're worried about how much it will cost now, but what will cost, um, what will your no cost you in the future? 
So that's what I did as a description. That's very easy for me to then just come here and paste um, on the reel that I want. Before I was doing labels and I had label by colors and like I could even put, like I think my label for reels before was the green one and I will just write reels and I knew that it was a reel. At this point, I do not color code them anymore. And that's because this month I decided to do all more or less reels. But as well on Saturdays, there is the coat day and the vlog days on Sundays. So I know more or less what it is and I don't need to color code them. However, if you want, you can color code them, label them, and then you can put the date like for you to be reminded that you need to post it by that date, by that uh, hour. You can attach things if you want and make a cover. You can do a lot of these things. I honestly use the basic one at this point and time for it. So this is how I do. You can see as soon as it's written something, it appears this because it means that this card has a description. You can see that there are a few of this month that I haven't put anything. And that is because I need to think about it since I didn't do last month. So yeah, like I said, you will see that I have it organized by my monthly so october september last month and my stories the stories will be more or less the same and then we can oh, not here so then i can change workspace and come to youtube and the youtube one is a simple very very simple one and here it is and this is 2024 content and this is because I started in September once again to be more um, like present on YouTube. And that's why I started. So you can see only September, October, November and December. Obviously, when we go to the next year, there is 12 months and only... Um, 10 boards but I will do like I did this one so I will create another board and I will put 2025 content and then inside there is no limit for me to put um, the lists so I can do the 12 lists instead of having 12 boards that is okay for me because like you see I can show you it's very very easy and once again I just need to put um the title of that uh, video, what it will be, then record it, and then it's done. If I wanted, I could just make, like I said, um, a date that I needed to record by, and then it will remind me and appear, for example, on red. I can, I can use this one for you to see. So imagine uh, I had to record it until the 13th, this was on the 5th, but that's fine. Like, imagine until the 3rd that I needed to record it. Save. You can, like, change the date uh, and the times in there. I put it the time that it is at this moment. And you can see it's overdue because the only way that it will let me know that I did it is if I put it here as completed. So it will be saying overdue for this one. However, for example, let's change and today is the 20 and imagine this one will be on the 26th. If I have, but imagine it was on the 22nd or the 21st, I will just put it like this, 21st and then it's like due soon. And like, for example, if it's only on the 26th, or if I needed to record it until the 25th, then it will be just like this. So very, very easy to make it. Um, if you, by any chance, you have, uh, for example, um, like don't want to do this anymore, you can archive and delete it forever. 
and that's it. I don't want to do that because it's in here and I do like to remember what I did or not. Uh, this card is archived and I will put just don't even if I have to that is fine because it can be archived or deleted forever and that it is what it is and as you can see it disappears from here but if you want to add once again so Saturday the 5th and that was it so you can add the card you can even move the cards whatever you want to move them sorry so Saturday fifth and add the card and you can move them even for other places if you want as you can see and then like I said you can just come here and be adding the description it will be a little bit slowly once again and the good about this app is that you can have it on your phone as well and you can edit and uh, like change everything that you need you can even make a new month from your own phone normally i do my monthly uh, content for instagram on my phone the last time i didn't have the time to make it so that was it for example like i had it was how to find your niche how to find your niche and then you just save And that is it. You can add someone else as a member if you want. There it is, member, open to members. Mines are all like private just because it's just for me. In any case, if I was doing anything that I would like to share with someone, I could open to a new member. Uh, very slow, but that is it. And yeah. So, like I said, this is a very, very easy, um, like, app to use. You can have it on your phone. You can have it on your laptop. Um, I do normally use more on my phone. But you can even do, let's go to the beginning. And like I said, you can even do for your personal, uh, personal life, not only for your business or things like that. You can just make it for your personal life if this is not taking like 200 years for it so you can create a workspace let's go there i will show you and the workspace name for example what could i do um, we can put it as i don't know a to-do list for example to-do lists and then like you can even choose if it's like education, human resources, whatever that is. I will put other, for example, you can even organize here, just putting our team organizes everything here. I don't want a description, that is fine. And I don't need the descriptions because when I do my uh, workspaces, I know straight away what they are. Like I said, this is very, very easy to do, but I will just show you now how to do it from the beginning. Very, very easy, but however, it's very, very slow today. And I think it's just because of the weather, how it is. And the internet connection is not being the best, um, but this needed to be recorded today just because I don't have much time before the end of the month besides today. So I will just go back to my YouTube content, to my boards in there. I just want the YouTube content boards. Of course, it's like 
going all crazy. So I will show you after you create your um, workspace, then you can create new board. And for example, I will already create uh, 2025th content. And then you can see it's already like on YouTube content workspace. And then you can like change your background in here and you can see more and then choose one from it and honestly i do love <laughs> to choose like pretty ones um you can use like a color that is like just one color like blue green whatever it is but I do like a lot to have like a pretty background. So this is the way that I normally do my contents. Like I said, you can even use this for your to-do lists, for your day-to-day, -day, um, whatever you have to do. Um, I know that many people have other ones. This one, I think it's very simple very attractive and you have the free uh, option and it's very very easy to navigate if i have to be honest so i do hope that you enjoyed this video and we will see each other in the next one bye